number 15. On the 29th of August 1995, at approximately 6.40pm, the body of a man was noticed by a skipper in the canal along the inner harbour of Bruges. To this day, the identity of this man is unknown. The body was wrapped in plastic bags with ropes around it. Presumably, this man was killed violently. The investigation revealed it was a man of presumable Asian origin and between 18 and 40 years old. He was 172 centimetres tall and thin. He had black hair, dark eyes and very unkempt teeth. He was a smoker. The man wore a dark coloured woolen sweater, a pair of beige trousers, a black leather belt, black leather shoes and great green socks. Number 40. On the night of the 1st to the 2nd of July 1997, around 2.20am, a pedestrian was hit by a truck in Dipan, 400 metres from the border with France. The body was thrown 20 metres away and other cars could not avoid him. The victim only had a small black wallet with French coins. The man was 50 to 60 years old and had a white complexion. He was between 165 centimetres and 178 centimetres tall. He was wearing a blue denim jacket, dark blue trousers with blue and light grey checks, a light grey sleeveless sweatshirt, a dark blue slipover, dark blue briefs and a dark brown pair of leather shoes. Also found near the traffic accident was a black leather belt, presumably belonging to the victim and an aluminium coloured glasses case, although it is not certain whether it belonged to the victim. Number 30. On the 17th of January 1998, a body was found in the Lee. This man had died a few weeks earlier. To date, his identity could not be determined. The man is white, between 175 centimetres and 180 centimetres tall and of a stocky build. He has white grey hair, forehead baldness and wears a white moustache. He has a large scar from heart surgery and has no teeth. At the time of discovery, he was wearing light blue briefs and a pair of black shoes with laces. These shoes had a sharp point as well as a 4cm heel and iron plates at the point to prevent wear. Number 12 On the 27th of October 2000, at around 9am, the body of a man was found on the beach at kilometre marker number 19.7 on the Royal Road. The investigation revealed that the man was between 175 centimetres and 185 centimetres tall. He had short jet black hair and had a large muscular build. The man was wearing a short black leather jacket, black briefs, a white undershirt, a dark grey undershirt, a t-shirt with horizontal stripes in blue and black, grey jeans with a black belt and a gold buckle, two pairs of grey socks and brown ankle boots, a yellow towel was tucked into his trousers around his waist. It was striking that the man was wearing a brown orange overalls over his clothing. Another striking thing was that the initials DVW were written in black marker in the collar of the overalls. Number 11 On the 5th of November 2000 at approximately 10.25am, the body of a man was found in the North Sea off Norwich and Amsterdam. To this day, the identity of this man is still unknown. The investigation showed that he was a white man with a normal build. He was between 176 and 188 centimetres tall and weighed between 70 and 75 kilos. He was wearing a dark t-shirt with a yellow striped collar, blue jeans with orange stitching, blue boxer shorts with three buttons on the front, black sports socks, an orange overall model with a red zip, a brown trouser suit over the overalls with the yellow inscription Guy Cotton on the breast pocket. Guy Cotton is a French outdoor clothing brand mainly known for its oil skin clothing. English money was found on the body. Number 10. On the 13th of April 2002 at around 8.30 a.m. the body of a woman was found in the port of Zeebrugge. The body was lying in the water at the level of the breakwaters. To this day, the identity of this woman is still unknown. The investigation showed that she was a woman of approximately 40 years old and 164 centimetres tall. 
She had dark brown or black shoulder length hair and dentures on top. She also had holes in her ears which indicated that she was wearing earrings. The woman wore a pale blue t-shirt, discolored grey light brown beige trousers, white panties, black low ankle boots with a 4 cm heel, red stockings and a blue sweater. The woman wore the following jewellery, two gold coloured rings with motif and precious stones. One gold coloured ring, wedding ring type with inscription V and diamond shaped impression on the inside. One gold coloured necklace with fine links. One gold coloured necklace with alternating large and three small round links. Number 9 On Tuesday the 7th of December 2005 at around 8.45 in the morning, the body of an unknown man was found in the beach of West End. To this day, the identity of this man is still unknown. The man was approximately 60 years old, 159 centimetres tall and had grey hair. He was wearing a blue vest, blue trousers and briefs in the colours black, green, red, yellow with the inscription Lancelot. The man was probably unable to walk and has a scar on his right elbow. He was also a smoker. Number 8 on the 26th of January 2006, a skull with the first three cervical vertebrae were found by the fishermen in British Territory waters. To date, the identity of this individual is still unknown. The investigation revealed that he was a white male between 40 and 50 years old. He had an elongated, narrow skull shape with a high face, a very fine nose and a denture. The time of death could be recorded as being between April and July 2005. Number 7 On the 13th of May 2010, at around 9.45 in the morning, the body of an unknown man was pulled from the water in the North Sea near the Thornton Wind Farm, 13 and a half miles from the coast. The identity of this man is still unknown. The man was probably between 55 and 70 years old and 180 centimetres tall. He was of an ostrich build and had grey hair and had undergone surgery in the abdominal area. The man's legs were heavily muscled and he had probably been in the water for quite some time. He had a denture. He wore a green polar sweater, a blue t-shirt, a green wool sweater, a white t-shirt, brown long trousers, dark boxer shorts with jaguar motifs, dark blue socks, shoes by the brand Caterpillar and a brown Levi's belt. Number 6 On the 15th of January 2012 in the morning, the lower body of a man was found in the water in Bruges. The identity of this man is still unknown. The man was white and probably over 30 years old. He was between 165 and 170 centimetres tall and weighed 80 to 85 kilograms. He had brown black hair and had a shoe size of 42. The man had undergone a laparoscopy due to meniscus problems. He also had a 4 centimetre burn wound on his right calf. Number 5 on the 6th of March 2018, a hiker found a bone on the beach of Ostend near Fort Napoleon. The bone is a right humerus of an adult male. Based on the bone, a body length of approximately 184 centimetres could be determined. This person would have been at least 30 years old. Number 4 On the 5th of February 2019, at approximately 4 in the afternoon, the body was found in the port of Ostend on concrete blocks. The man was white, 171 centimetres tall and thin. His weight was estimated between 60 and 65 kilos. He was between 20 and 40 years old and had blonde red hair. He had a tattoo on his right shoulder that appeared to be a word in a suspected Slavic language. He also had a suspected triangular eye-shaped discoloration tattoo on his right calf. He was dressed in jeans, a pair of dark socks with the image of a Yorkshire Terrier and a pair of black leather caterpillar shoes with yellow writing. Number 3 
on the 20th of February 2020 between 11.50 and 11.56 in the morning, an unknown man was hit by a trucking dam. The driver did not notice the accident. The unknown man died from his injuries. The man was of an average build and was probably between 20 and 25 years old. He was 175 centimetres tall and weighed 71 kilos. He had black hair and green eyes. The man was wearing a black jacket body warmer, a black scarf, a green cotton pullover, a grey cotton pullover, a blue black cotton pullover, a black t-shirt, a brown undershirt, a pair of grey jeans, long grey underpants, purple underpants, a pair of blue red stockings and one brown leather right shoe. He was wearing a bracelet with brown beads. The man had a sleeping bag, a backpack with clothes, a mobile phone, a power bank and a charging cable for the mobile, mobile phone. The investigators also found a document with the name Salah Farah and a card with the name Salah Ezalat, a brochure from the Red Cross in a foreign language, a document with directions to the Maximilian Park in Brussels and a three metre tape. Number two. During renovation work in Bruges on the 24th of September 2020, a skull and some small bones were found in a garden. It's believed to be of a woman and over 30 years old. To date, her identity is still unknown. Number one. On Saturday the 6th of August 2022 at 7.10am, the lifeless body of a woman was found in the Vargil of Ustende. To date, the identity of this woman cannot be determined. She is 156 centimetres tall, has an ostrich build and blonde brown hair. She has a scar on her lower right leg. She wore a black t-shirt with the words Ibiza and a gold anchor and cord pattern, blue jeans with a brown braided belt, a burgundy sweater with a zip and hood, white and black striped socks and size 38 black lace-up ankle boots. 